Hello everyone, welcome again to Investing with the Difference. So today we are going to spend a few minutes on EOS uh, staking and unskate taking of tokens. And uh, while many of you are, are aware that in EOS we do stake tokens for CPU and net, I wanted to cover a few points which uh, maybe some of you are not aware of. So we will, um, there are some finer points which you need to be worried about. So let me show you a quick things. So first of all, let's go to our blocks.io Investing with the Difference account. So as you can see, um, you can clearly see how much of your CPU stake is there and how much of your net stake. What is refunding? So refunding is when you unstake, you have a three day waiting period. And so right now we unstake three tokens and they are still in refunding state. That means they cannot be taken out of the account and uh, they cannot even be staked again. Uh, so what we do is, uh, uh, the second part you need to understand is uh, you need to always monitor how much of your net is used and how much of your CPU is used. So you can see that we have used 10% of CPU and uh, we have almost a very, very low use of net. And this is very common. We are seeing with many accounts that net is used um, very small amount and most of the apps like D apps we are playing with, uh, we are um, using them. We are seeing more and more CPU usage. So we recommend that uh, maybe you can stake more to CPU and less to net. Now what happens when you do that? So for example, right now we have very lim little EOS, which is uh, in liquid state. So if we go to the gray mass wallet and uh, we have to stake, update our stake. So if you go to update staked EOS, uh, you are trying, let's say we are trying to move from the bandwidth through CPU and uh, so we have 12, let's say we want to reduce it. So first of all, we will say from 12, we will make it nine and we want to move it three of the tokens to CPU and I enter 25 here and I say update stake tokens. Now it says you are about to unstake from bandwidth three tokens and we confirm and as you can see one critical thing what happened we got we could not update the CPU from uh, we it did not add up to the CPU because the CPU can only stake from unstake tokens you cannot just move it from network to CPU so what happened with this change, it ignored my request to increase CPU because it was uh, not possible to do it. And if I again try to do that because I, to make it 25, it will not work because it will say insufficient EOS. So you need to understand that you cannot just move your stake token from bandwidth to CPU. You first need to unstake and you need to wait. Now, if I go back and I refresh it, you will see that the refunding tokens will become from three tokens to six tokens, I'm assuming. That's right. So now you need to wait for three days for these tokens from net to be unstaked to move to CPU. So you need to plan ahead uh, even for moving tokens from net to CPU or CPU to net. So please keep an eye on this. Some people may not be aware of this uh, and uh, we just wanted to highlight this part. And also we showed you how to use Grimas wallet to stake or unstake and uh, you can do that uh, very easily with most of these tools. The one more thing I wanted to highlight is, uh, as you know, EOS is such a fast blockchain. By the time we unstaked and staked in Grimas wallet, it's already updated on the blockchain. So this is a block explorer. And uh, this always impresses me even now after such a long time of using EOS uh, mainnet, we are still so impressed every time we see this getting updated immediately. Uh, and if you are in the blockchain world for some time and even now when I send my Ethereum or Bitcoins from one account to another or I make any transaction, I have to wait like 10 minutes, 20 minutes, sometimes half an hour. So I cannot get, stop getting impressed with this uh, till I really get used to it for a very long time. So uh, thanks again for joining. I hope uh, this information was useful. And uh, one more thing I would like to say is you should uh, try to add more and more to CPU because CPU is, uh, at one point it was very high when there were a lot of spam transactions and you, you can see that um, one of the reasons why you don't use m much of network price because the network price itself is very low. Uh, for accessing uh, the network bandwidth, you need very li limited EOS, but um, sometimes the CPU go up if there are a lot of people using the network and that is why you need more and more staking in CPU. So thanks again for joining and I uh, please like and share this video if this information was useful and happy 
uh, EOS investing and please try out the D apps and uh, the EOS games and whatever is coming up because it's a great experience. If you have not, uh, the reason we have not used a lot of dApps in Ethereum world because they are totally useless because of the slow speed and the gas and so on. And uh, we are really enjoying as a team, we are really loving uh, the EOS apps experience. Thank you. Bye-bye.